right there, this song, this song right here is it. Every one, every single one that's on the album, from goals to girl hold on to everything that you, every time you press play, it's going to be something to inspire you every what's, time. What's, what's goals about? Um, goals is about switching up your circle, changing who around you so you can level up, changing who's around you so you can actually grow. Because some people, when you, they used to say, you know, when you hang with broke people, you become broke too. It's not just about hanging with them. You got to help them if they're going to be around. You can't just be at the top and let them like, no, you got to bring them with you. So if you're not going to bring them with you, just, you know what I'm saying, change your circle, get to where you need to go. And it's actually, he making me nervous, yo. I cannot like get this out. Ask me a question again. I was just asking about the goals. Don't don't worry about, you know, we got a husband in the background. He, I don't know what's going behind me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she said he's making her nervous. She said he's making his sister K nervous. The goals the goal hit. The goals the hit. You feel me. You feel me. Performing at school, selling out shows. Me and my sisters never with these always be working and striving got goals i like it a lot me and my sisters be scraping the pot we make a lot out in your block slinging the shirts and the cds my people they need me my homie pray for me a lot my homie she told me say this me a lot my father he told me he need us a lot to stay out the way and make it do i leave out the finna and stay out the way that's that work that's that work y'all we finna drop soon you feel me in the a we straight out of philly with it like stop playing with it this is really about to turn all the way up in show all so what's the day. difference between uh doing shows in atlanta and, and, and philly oh my god atlanta is lit they stand up when you perform they pull their phones out they got their lights out you ain't gotta tell them the clip you ain't gotta tell them nothing they already waiting they already know what they came for and philly I get the the shocking face, like I get. The, I was telling him the beer bottles just stuck on the lid, the cigarette on the like. They just be like, <laughs> they be like, what did she say? What is going on? Why, why do you think they're shocked? <laughs> Things I'm saying, and I really like get low. Like I'm saying, I get in your face. Like when I perform, I I would say black out. Like I really go off. Like when I I'm a whole nother person. Like I'm really shy. But when I get on stage, it's a whole nother show. So. Yeah, they be stuck, like, and then sometimes when I get off stage, people, like, hug me and be crying or sometimes, and sometimes, like, I gave a stripper shahada before, like. You gave a stripper shahada? Yeah, down here, my first time down here. So you came to Atlanta. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> So you came to Atlanta, right? Hold up. We gotta set the whole, <laughs> you gotta set the whole scene for me, so, so, was this, so hold up. of course it wasn't in the strip club, right? I didn't know it was strippers there. Hold on, so y'all at a... <laughs> I was at a regular club and they had dancers club, for the showcase. And they had strippers. So, tell me how that come about. So, uh, this was the first year of COVID when Philly was disgusting. The air was stinking. They was flipping over dumpsters, beating up cops, spray painting buildings, shutting down everything. No studio time. It was horrible. So, I just got up and left. I just had my little BUA. And got up and went right to the A. You feel me? So <laughs> when I went, you feel me? So boom. So I'm like, all right, I'm trying. I already had it lined up with shows. Every single night I knew where I was going. I had to sell merch, perform every single night. I blew all my money on the two weeks down here. Boom. But to the point, right? So boom, I forgot the question because he's making me nervous. No, mm -mm. the question is... You know, oh, how's the crap? No, it's not even a question. Actually, I want you to tell me the story. Oh, on how, how I gave her Shahada. 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 And where was y'all at? And how did it all come about? So, boom. So, I had a show in Duluth. And when I say I tore that stage down, I performed. But they was like, yeah, the dancers going to be up there. Got to be up there with you. I said, no offense. I said, Assalamu alaikum to everybody. I said, no offense, but y'all got to get down here. You feel me? But anyway, let me start the story over. Because he making me nervous, bro. How did I get a stripper shot? So I had a show in Duluth. Immediately when I got off stage at the performance, she pulled me to the side. She's like, excuse me, sister. Um, I really like what you say. I like everything you said up there. Now that's on your head. You got to wear that all day. You got to go to sleep with that. I said, no, I take it off in the house. And she was like, like people could see you. I'm like, my family, certain family members, yes. And then she was like, well, whatever you is, I want to be there too. And I was like, really? And she was like, yes, I want to be what you is. And I was like, well, I'm Muslim. And I gave her like a short amount of dawah. She accepted and she took her shot right there. Wow. On the spot. Straight off the stage. Wow. Mr. <laughs> K giving out. The hack on she stage. Shout out to strippers. <laughs> That's, That's a new one. Shout out to uses and shout out to her. Yeah, shout out to her for Blessings being this. Her. And me, and me. 
So yeah, it get real, like I said, and it's, it's to the point where I have girls like this in college that's like, yeah, I'm so scared to cover, but ever since I came to you live, ever since I started watching you, now I'm like, worry about yourself, I don't need to help, you know what I'm saying? So this is like the inspiration. The first year when I came out, it was so many girls like rumbled on, it was 30 deep, 40 deep coming to the mansion with me, you know what I'm saying? It was to the point where like, I thought, you know what I'm saying, it was like a camp, but it, I wasn't getting no funds, I wasn't getting no grants for this, I was just doing it. With my PUA and I was just doing it with my work whatever I was doing like my work money I would just give it to the girls so I feel like that not just rapping but just all the goodness that you do it always come back to you it's never not going to come back as long as you do a bunch of good it's always going to come back so can't nobody stop you alright but yeah shout out to my girls they hold me down they repost my stuff um I don't hang with girls my age for like the last five years really which sounds weird but they not on what I'm on like they not trying to not stay out after 1 o'clock or not drink. You get me? Like, I have certain, like, I got picks on how long I'm staying. stay. I got picks on who I'm going to hang with, what I'm going to wear. I have rules now, so I can't hang with everybody. So, that's on goals. That's exactly what's going on. So, I can't reach my goals until I take care of me and make sure I'm in the right circle. So, yeah, because you can't be with the wrong people. It's going to go big. Right. So, yeah, definitely. Stay out the way.